All right, welcome back to another one of our film reviews. Today we are talking about Bears rookie tackle Darnell Wright and his performance against the Raiders. Gutsy performance from Wright, who's been battling through some injuries, had a tough matchup, gave his team a chance to win, and we saw the Bears take advantage of it. we got a great setup of cut-ups to you to show you today involving Wright. As always, if you appreciate this content, give us a like, give us a comment with any feedback you might have. But without further ado, let's jump right into the film. All right, so this was a tough matchup for Darnell Wright. Even if he was 100% healthy, obviously he's banged up, battling some toe and some shoulder issues, I believe. There he is right there at right tackle. We can see him. There's Max Crosby, number 98 for the Las Vegas Raiders, a great pass rusher, one of the best defensive players in the entire game. So the Raiders came into this matchup trying to do as much as they could to isolate Crosby on right. We can see this by this interior defensive tackles alignment. He's in what we call a 2-I. He's on the 2 inside eye of the guard. So this basically forces this guard to spend a lot of time and effort to engage him right away. So any help on Darnell Wright over here on Crosby isn't likely coming from this guard until at least the very end of the snap. So we're going to get a lot of one-on-one between these two all game long. And I tell you what, we've got back-to-back pass protection plays here showing Darnell Wright doing a very good job. Again, giving his quarterback, the young rookie quarterback, a chance. Let's check out how Wright did. These are two really nice pass protection snaps from this impressive rookie. All right, so right there, you can see the interior defensive tackle, right? See how he's occupying the right guard. That leaves a one-on-one -on -one matchup right there for Wright against Crosby. And see how Wright does. Look at that patience. Look at that patience. I'm going to go back to the very beginning here. Look at Crosby with his hands. See how Crosby is right there. He's trying to knock down Darnell Wright's hands. But you can see how patient Wright is. He doesn't even fall for any of the bait. Watch how, watch how good he does. He waits, 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 then engages his hands, rides him around the back. Gives Badgent a clean pocket to deliver a strike for a first down. This was a third down situation, passing situation. The Raiders were literally designed defensively against the Bears to take advantage of these. But Darnell Wright does a phenomenal job. Makes him go around the hump. Gives his quarterback a nice, clean pocket. Can make the read. Wait for his receiver to break open across the field. Good design here. You can see Cole Komet, the tight end, occupying number five, the linebacker for the Raiders. I believe DJ Moore runs the deeper cross. He gets open because number five is occupied. Badgett reads it perfectly. Hits a strike in there for a first down. It's either DJ Moore or Tony Scott. I can't really tell. But either way, first down bears. But I tell you what, folks, it all happens because of Darno Wright doing a good job here blocking Max Crosby with the patience and great timing with his feet and hands. First down for the Raiders. Let's go into the next pass protection rep here for the Raiders. He's going the other way right there. There is Darnell Wright. You can see Crosby at what we like to call a wide nine technique because he's so far outside. A seven technique would be outside the tight end, but he's so far outside. They call that a nine technique. Again, one-on-one -on -one matchup here. Watch how Darnell Wright handles this. Great job. Makes him ride the hump. I tell you what, see how patient he is? Right here, look at all the other offensive linemen. Right, uh, the left tackle is engaged, all right? You can see him on the defensive end. You can see the guards engage on defensive tackle already right there. You can see the left guards engage on number 95 for the Raiders right there. Darnell Wright still has not fired his hands. That's incredible patience, which is exactly what you want from a pass protector. Patience, 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 engages at the right time. And look what it does to Crosby. It takes so long that Crosby right here thinks the play's over. Right, because it's taken him so long to get to this depth. Look at Crosby. He just, he just stops, turns around, and then he realizes the play is still going on. Folks, this is outstanding pass protection here from Darnell Wright. Again, rookie quarterback in this situation. A lot of people, myself included, thought it would be a tough day for the Bears. But they did a great job. And a big part of that was because Wright executing in these kind of situations. Yeah, Nick. And Wright, I mean, he's banged up going against one of the best pass rushers in the league and Max Crosby. His full offensive line isn't even available quite yet. You know, Braxton Jones wasn't back for this game quite yet. This guy is doing some incredible stuff. Banged up, taking the patience, just using all of the tricks of the trade that he knows so early in his career. This guy is doing really great things. And I think once this Bears offensive line gets to full strength, this team is finally going to have a chance in making clean pockets for these quarterbacks and getting some really positive plays going on offense. All right, we're going to stick with pass protection here, and this is just a really tough situation from Darnell Wright. There's Crosby. You can barely see him. He's in what we call a four-eye technique, four inside eye there. Of course, is Darnell Wright at the right tackle for the offense. And the way the Bears structure this protection against this Raiders front is it looks like every offensive lineman is taking their gap to their left, 
but it's not just a it's not really a gap protection because normally in a gap protection when everybody does that you get a running back or tight end going to the backside. that's not really how the bears structure this so what this basically ends up becoming is a one-on-one -on -one right there between Wright and crosby but the situation here if you're a tackle and this is sort of a nightmare situation if he's inside you got to make sure he doesn't press really hard really quickly to the inside because he's got a short corner obviously to get there but if you step inside that opens up the outside for a very easy pressure i mean this is a terrible situation for an offensive line to be in but right battles he does a good job and he gives a quarterback a chance to make a play let's check out how he does so right there, he steps inside. That's what you have to do. You have to protect your inside. But Crosby, being a savvy vet, quickly jumps outside. But Wright stays with him and does just enough. Folks, it doesn't look pretty. It looks kind of ugly, right? Obviously, Crosby's able to work outside. But I tell you what, look how he makes Crosby get so wide here and get so deep. Completely past the quarterback. Badgen's able to step up, get outside the pocket, and run for a first down. This is a situation where 99 times out of 100, this is a call where the defense had the right player personnel and the right play call against the offense. This is a disaster. Max Crosby makes a living getting sacks in a situation like this. The best case hope you normally get in a situation like this for an offense is maybe your quarterback is able to hang in the pocket and get rid of it or maybe complete a check down. But to have Crosby not even touch the quarterback, that's a great rep from Darnell Wright. Again, protecting the inside look how he does it. that's perfect technique by the way for those who aren't familiar with offensive line play when you have to protect your inside gap at the tackle you take your lead foot right's left foot in this case and pound it inside as quickly and as fastly as you can and then immediately work out just kind of scramble so watch how he quicks it boom 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 perfect that's outstanding stuff. that's teach shape stuff boom 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 perfect there crosby of course knows that and he recognizes and goes outside but right fights gives him a hand gives him a shove forces him wide forces him deep and Crosby doesn't even get anywhere near the quarterback, ends up being a first down for the Bears. Again, is it the prettiest rep of all time? No. But I tell you what, folks, this should have been a sack from the Raiders' perspective. And in the end, Crosby doesn't even lay a finger on the quarterback, and the Bears get a first down. And it's all because of Darnell Wright's effort here. Yeah, Nick, and we talk about, you know, ugly reps maybe, you know, getting things done, doing just enough to get the result that you require. And I think of efficiency, and that is what Darnell Wright has done all season. This guy has been extremely efficient. You can even look at his pass blocking efficiency grade, which is a PFF stat, just measuring pressures allowed on a per snap basis. There's extra weight towards sacks allowed. This guy, this is his worst game, Nick. This was his worst graded game. Still a 92.4 efficiency rating, and he has had a 90 grade all season long. This guy has just been hyper efficient letting up as little pressures as possible. I'm really impressed with what he's done so far early on in his career. All right, early on in the sequence, we talked about Darnell Wright, and there he is on our left, the offense's right tackle. We talked about his patience and pass protection. And what it does is it force, forces edge defenders, and right there, there's the Raiders' edge defender on the edge of your screen. That's their exciting young rookie out of Texas Tech. What it does is it forces these guys to eventually just get aggressive and kind of either force their way outside or bury their hands and head into Darnell Wright's chest. And that opens up other opportunities for the offense. The Bears called a great game. I think Luke Getze did a great job from the Bears' perspective. But this is a great example of it. Watch what Darnell Wright does and how he opens up a huge hole in the running game here. So it ends up being a draw, right? Look at all that space. Again, look at this edge defender for the Raiders. Look how long it takes him to get to right. By the time he gets there and engages, the play's over. He can't make a play. Massive hole right there. Right now, he probably recognizes, oh, crap, it's a draw. It's too late. Running back's by him. Look at all the other offensive linemen. Right right there, they're all engaged. They're all in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Right there in the left tackle, he's battling. Max Crosby almost makes the play here. This was a heck of an effort by Crosby. Look at Darnell Wright. Look how patient and relaxed he is. He forces this edge defender to bring the fight to him, which basically takes the edge defender out of the play, which is what we see right here. Again, is it the most physically impressive thing in the world? No. But this level of patience, this level of focusing on technique and fundamentals. And again, he's banged up. We see that, right? You can almost see his shoulder, see how his shoulder kind of gives out on contact a little bit there. He's far from 100%. He's trying to battle through it, which is a great effort for him, doing a good job here in these situations. But again, this hole opens up because of him. Because you look at everybody else inside, right? Crosby is almost making a play, right? 93 for the Raiders almost gets off there. This hole is as big as it is on this side because of how Donald Wright approaches it. Because right there, by the time they get contact, by the time the edge defender gets contact on right, there is that massive seam, and it becomes a big run for the Bears. 
This is one of the things that I think is going to become a bigger part of the Bears offense, whether it's draws with the running backs or maybe with Justin Fields when he returns. Because Darnold Wright is so patient, he lures these pass rushers into a false sense of security, and the result can be big plays in the running game. Yeah, Nick, and this is where his bread and butter has been. This guy, he's a massive dude, 6'5", 340 pounds. We've known he's been a force in the run game all season long, and I, you see it here time and time again. He's just doing really great stuff in the run game. And like you said, he's battling through injuries, just showing he's giving everything he's got for this Bears team. And I really respect the effort by Darnell Wright. All right, staying with the running game, you can see Darnell Wright right there. He is on your left, the offense's right tackle, of course. This is going to be kind of a power toss. It basically ends up acting like a wide zone play. So the running back is going to take a path like this. Everybody from the Bears up front is basically working over right here. On the back side, you're going to get what I call a tight scoot from the guard. So he's going to work vertical and then cut off the backside linebacker or trail player. That's the safety actually right here. And Darnell Wright's going to work to cut off number 91. He's the three technique right there. Watch how these two guys handle it inside. I'm talking about, of course, the right guard, right tackle. Again, is it the prettiest play in the world? No, far from it. But it creates a massive cutback opportunity for the Bears. Let's check out what happens. All right, you can see the toss right there. So right there, you can see the Raiders do a pretty good job in pursuit. But look at this massive cutback opportunity. Look at all this green grass. Let me go back to the very beginning. That green grass generates because how these two guys on the backside handle number 91 and number 25. Right? Guard works up, gets on 25. Darnell Wright, again, not 100%, not the most physical play in the world. But he's still able to get over there and cut him off. Again, is it the prettiest play of all time? Absolutely not. But just that short quickness. And we saw in that pass protection of Max Crosby how quick he's able to get his left foot down. And that's what this is right here. Because right here, let me pause it right there. He's basically done his job, right? He's got him completely cut off. Number 91 for the Raiders doesn't do himself any favors by getting you know too vertical too much in the backfield. And you can see right there, they're completely out of the play. Opens up a huge hole for the Bears running game. Nice hurdle on the end of it too. This is how you can get big holes in the running game with backside cutoffs, how you can handle these scoop opportunities. And they're hard, right? It takes a really good offense to execute. This is something the Bears have gotten better and better at over the course of the season. Sometimes you have to be really physical, but you know what? Sometimes you just have to work up, cut guys off, and get bodies on bodies, and the results can be really good. And that's what we saw from the Bears, especially in this case against the Raiders. Yeah, Nick, and with a backup quarterback, Fields is not out there. The Raiders know what is coming. They had a heavy dose of run in this game. 173 of their 323 total yards came from the rushing attack. This Raiders defense knew what the Bears were going to be giving them. And it's plays like this that really shine. Darnell Wright and everybody stepping up, giving this Bears team a huge win over the Raiders through this rushing attack. And I think this high-level blocking by guys like Wright is really what led them to victory in this game. All right, sticking with the running game, there's Donald right there, of course, at right tackle. The Bears are kind of running a very simple kind of double-team duo concept. And what I mean by that is we're going to get double teams inside working up to the linebackers here. And we're going to get block outs here from the tight end. And we're going to get a block out here from right on Crosby. But there's one thing about this play that people need to understand is this is everything you're taught as a tackle from day one all the time. Is if this defensive end fires inside across your face. You have one job and one job only if you're this tackle. You have to bury him inside as far as possible and as quickly as possible because the running back is taught to then cut off and get behind you. This is not an easy thing to do because the temptation, remember, you're trying to block him and seal him out. So when he works inside, it's tough to redirect your feet and keep driving him the way he's actually going to go. This takes a lot of athleticism. Let's check out how Darnell Wright does here. Or you can see Crosby slant inside right there. This is a tough position to be in because the running back's actually targeting for this spot right here. You can see the double teams right there. You can see the double team right there, the kick out on the tight end. Darnell Wright has to wash him down inside right here. He's got to keep his feet moving and drive his hands through it. Let's go back to the beginning. Watch how he does through this full sequence. Gets him driving, buries him into the back, running back cuts behind him. Really nice play. This is how you draw it up. This is how you beat teams blitzing off the edge with these nickel blitzes, these nickel corner blitzes. That defensive end wants to crash inside, wash him down, good run inside. This is what was missing from the Bears running game earlier this season, I thought. I thought they lacked confidence to run schemes like this inside. They could do some good outside zone schemes. Obviously, Justin Fields did a lot of nice things as well. 
But I tell you what, this kind of power football, because this is really what this is, right? This is sort of mono e mono. It's like your five offensive linemen and tight end against their four defensive linemen and those two linebackers. Can you move people the way you need them to move? That's exactly what the Bears do here. And that's what Darnell Wright does here. Again, is it the most impressive looking thing in the world? No, but it's high level execution, especially against a great player. And especially when you're banged up like Darnell Wright is. Yeah, Nick, and we've done film reviews all season on teams. We've done it on the Rams with Avila. We've done it on the Raiders, actually, with Michael Mayer. And we have shown that these teams have success when they start uh, trusting these impressive young rookies in the run game. If they can trust the block is going to be there, hit the hole with aggression. And that is what the Bears are doing with a guy like Wright. They're trusting. He is such a bright spot on this offense they know that his blocks are going to be there they know what he's capable of and i think that is also another factor of why this rushing attack had so much success versus the raiders all right we're going to end on a pretty cool run play here designed by the bears so they're going to get all their offensive linemen on the offense's left working to their left this direction this is going to be a design cutback you're actually going to get the backside guard the right guard here working and blocking down there this is going to be a design cutback so the running back is going to take this path and then try and work this way and the whole thing that makes it really hard is these three guys right here how do you handle this it's a tough situation to be in what you have to do is you have to get these guys blocking out they have to work this way to sell it and then lead the way these guys become the lead blocks but that creates a hard situation here for donald wright there he is at right tackle against crosby you have got to if you're donald wright the only way this play works is sell the fact that it's a run this direction and then slingshot throw Cos crosby the way he's trying to go to pursue that direction because if crosby sits in the hole right here he blows this play up donald wright has to throw throw him inside and the running back has to cut behind right this is a phenomenal execution from darnell right this was probably a game plan situation from the, from the bears and they did a great job with it let's check it out right, you can see right there everyone working you can see it looks like it's going to be inside run but you can see the cutback opportunity starting to form right you can see right here you can see the two tight ends and the fullback there they've already turned out to block this way to create this hole right here you can see the running back cutting back again it's a design look at darnell right though right here Right, right now he sees that Max Crosby's in the hole, right? Let me go back to the very beginning. Donald Wright's trying to like kind of make him kind of guide him a little bit inside, but Crosby's hanging tight. Right now Crosby's blowing up the hole. Watch how Darnell Wright handles this. He takes his right arm and literally throws Crosby inside. Folks, that's actually a technique, right? That's actually what you're taught to do in that situation. Crosby's trying to slow play it, maybe pursue a little bit. Donald Wright very savvily throws him inside, opens up a big cutback lane. Look at that. You got blockers right there. This defensive backs work too far upfield. Ends up being a big run for the Bears. Cuts inside Peters. Should have been a little bit bigger run. Couldn't get blocks at the second level from these other guys. But still, great execution from Darnell Wright. Talk about the Bears running game. Doing it without Justin Fields. You don't get it unless you guys execute the game plan. And Darnell Wright did a phenomenal job of that right here. 